Pun just released their bundles on Apple One, which is their 1.1 version, which actually supports Windows. Now, for those of you who don't know what Bun is, Bun is a JavaScript TypeScript runtime, just like Node.js, but they claim that it's way faster than Node.js, and all the package managers out there, just like Yarn, PNPM, and NPM. At the initial stage when Bun was released, it was only meant to be for macOS and Linux. But now with this massive release, they support Windows as well. And you can install it using this PowerShell or the NPM or Scoop. But for now, what is more important is the reviews of developers on Bun. So here on Reddit, I found this thread which is two days old. And daily.dev has this really great question about Bun, which is Bun or Node.js in 2024. And there are lots of people commenting on that. And majority is voting for Node. And there are people saying that Bun might be in 2025, but Bun needs more time in the oven, but it's going in the right direction. So they mean that Bun really, really needs a lot of improvement and might be the ideal choice in 2025, but not right now. And here is an interesting comment which says that anyone telling you to use Bun is being paid by Big Bun. So we're going to go and install it on Windows and we're going to go and fill it out a bit and check whether it's actually as good as the paper suggests or the people over on Reddit are right. So let's go and dive into it and start installing Bun. So here on their documentation, if you scroll down, you will find this Windows section where you can install it using NPM, Scoop or the PowerShell. So I'm gonna go with PowerShell. All you have to do is just copy this command right in here and then you will have to open up your PowerShell. So here on your PowerShell, all you have to do is Paste that command and just hit enter. And just like that, only with one command, your bun 111.2 was installed. Now let's close the PowerShell and rerun the terminal. Now to check whether we installed bun properly or not, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check bun's version. So I'm gonna go and say bun and then the version flag. And yes, we have successfully installed the 111.2 version, which is the latest. Now let's actually go and try to install a Next.js app using bun. So here on their website, if you go and check build an app with Next.js and Bun. If you scroll a bit down, you will see that it creates a Next app using this command, but at the back it's using NPM to install all the dependencies. So this way we can't actually compare the speed of Bun and NPM while installing the app. But what we can do is we can check the speed of running a server using this flag Bun here. This will make sure that the server is being run using Bun. If you omit this Bun here, it will use Node.js to run the server. So let's actually go and create a next app using this command right in here. So I have my Visual Studio code open up. So if I open the terminal right in here and I paste in that command. And one more thing that I want is I want the latest version of Next.js 14 as well as I want to install it right in here in this directory. So I'm going to go and use the dot flag here. And that's all. Now you can hit enter and start creating your next app. Let me make this a bit bigger. So here I will be choosing the default settings for our next app. So I'm going to go with all the default settings and let's start creating our next app. All right, so our Next.js 14 app is already created. But as I stated in the start of the video that there are a few controversial comments which state that it's not as great as the paper suggests. We're going to actually find out. We couldn't compare it with NPM at this stage because it is actually using NPM to download all of this as stated over at their website. But now what we can do is we can check whether the Bun's run dev works better than the NPM run dev. So here I have the Bun project as well as my own personal NPM based project open up. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm going to go and check whether the NPM run dev is faster than the Bun run dev. So I'm going to go and say NPM run dev and check the time it takes to actually run the server. So it took it 5.5 seconds to run the server. And you don't have to mind this here because this is a team project and one of my team member is using PNPM. That's why this conflict arise and I'll fix that later on. But the important part is it took 5.5 seconds for NPM to get the server up and running. Now let's go to a button version and check whether it is actually faster than npm or is it just all a hype and just some words so let's go and zoom in a bit so here i'm gonna go and save bun and i'm gonna pass in the bun flag and then i'm gonna go and run the development server now let's hit enter and check whether it's faster than npm or not so here are the results and yes bun is around 35 to 40 percent faster than npm because it put up the development server in 3.6 seconds 
while npm did it in 5.5 seconds so that was just a test about the development server so this is the development server that bun put up now we know that bun is faster than npm but that's not all it's not just about being faster it's also about being elegant and what i mean by that is just look at the bun's apis bun apis are more compact and really composed and clean and it might take you a while to actually get familiar with the bun api but they also have the node.js compatibility which means it's not going to be that hard to actually move from npm to bun x or from node to bun and as you can see they claim that bun aims for complete node.js api compatibility so you don't have to worry about that now bun supports two different types of watch modes which automatically reloads via cli flag one of which is going to hard restart bun every time there are changes in the file that is watched and the other one is hot which makes soft reloads to the code which means it's going to only reload that specific portion of the code when anything changes there and the watch mode is not all but got but has this module resolution which means that you don't have to worry about common js module or the native es module you don't need to worry about how to import this one it's going to be really easy to import any file using bun and of course bun supports typescript and javascript from the get-go and this is something new because the paths are case insensitive which means all of these are same now we've talked about a lot of features of bun and you can actually go and explore all of these they have a detailed documentation on their docs page and one thing that i must mention and this is my personal review of bun i partially agree with the discussions that i showed you in the start yes bun needs a lot of improvement because it's not as great as the show on paper but still it is faster than npm not as much faster as the stat states here but yes it is faster as we experienced earlier with running the development server so yes it is faster but it needs a lot of improvement because it is a new find in the market and their 1.1 version which is for windows it just got released on apple one which means it's quite premature and it needs a lot of work so that was my honest review of bundles which is bun 1.1 i hope this video was valuable and i was able to explain a bit about bun but yes i didn't go too deep into it because it has a lot to offer over the documentation but i made the major points quite clear and i'll be covering the future updates of bun if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below subscribe to skill group for latest updates on cutting edge technologies ring the notification bell to never miss out on a daily update thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video we will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech till then stay curious and keep exploring